Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am Degasian. Feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Today we're going to be doing the Terran Gambit story arc with the episode of Red Shift. There's been an incident at Jupiter Station. Admiral Janeway is leading the relief operations there and has asked for backup. I'd like you to join the Admiral at Jupiter Station and provide any assistance she might require. Be prepared. If the Terrans are bold enough to strike at the very heart of the Federation, they must be up to something big. Good to see you again. I wish we were meeting under better circumstances. The Terrans hit us pretty hard today. Several of our ships are in trouble. See what you can do to help out. We'll talk more once we have everyone out of harm's way. Whatever medical teams you could spare would be most welcome. So as you can see, Kate Mulgrew came back to reprise her role as Admiral Janeway. Which I'm actually quite excited for one of the captains coming back and taking Away on the role. Received. This is the Juno. We've lost main power. Any engineering support would be helpful. She's actually one of my more favorite captains. Thanks. We'll get your people back to you as soon as we have things under control. This is Chief Engineer Jarrett of the Akron. We're out of time. Our warp core is going critical, and we can't eject it. We need to evacuate now! Evacuate as many people as possible from the Akron before their warp core breaches. There's two more groups to beam out. I'll buy you as much time as I can. The last of us are ready for transport. Hurry! The core's about to breach! That's everyone. Get to a safe distance. Akron treated us well. I'm going to miss her and her. Losing the Akron wasn't easy to watch, but you saved the survivors on board. That's what matters the most. Well done. This situation is getting complicated, and officers like you can help me get to the bottom of things. Let's meet on Voyager to go over this in person. So yeah, if you're a Star Trek nerd like me, you're going to be excited to, you know, meet with Admiral Janeway on board her actual starship, Voyager. Granted. I'll meet you in the transporter room. Welcome aboard. There's a lot to discuss and very little time to do so. Walk with me. I'll get you up to speed on the way to the conference room. Here's what we know so far. The Terran fleet warped into the Sol system unchallenged. Somehow, they managed to bypass all of our security measures. You saw what they did to the ships near the station. Once they dealt with those ships, they raided the station itself. Their objective was unusual, even for Terrans. <laughs> That's putting it mildly. Right. Let's get down to business. As you know, the Terrans raided a secret research station in the Izar system earlier. They stole a large amount of classified data during that raid, which you managed to recover. Starfleet Intelligence believes they found what they were looking for in that data, and it led them here, to Jupiter Station. I'm bringing in a... consultant to assist with this briefing. Someone with first-hand experience of the incident at Jupiter Station. <laughs> You're gonna love this. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> Told ya. If you're finished gawking, believe me, I don't want to be here any more than you do. Let's get this over with. Fourteen hours ago, I led a Terran strike force operation to Jupiter Station. All right, let's get started.
The operation is about to commence. We've entered Federation space undetected, thanks to security codes obtained by Imperial agents. By the time we drop out of warp in the Sol system, it'll be too late for the defenders of Jupiter's station. This plan is reckless. Even for you, Marshal. We're not dealing with a legion of witless cyborgs here. And I'd rather not end up in a Starfleet prison for the rest of my days. Or, you know, dead. Your position is noted, Captain. Perhaps you'd like to voice your concerns to the Emperor? It is his plan, after all. No? Anyone? I didn't think so. Fortune, as they say, favors the bold. If we succeed today, the favor of the Emperor will be ours. So, please, summarize our mission objectives, Marshal. Very well, Inquisitor. Listen closely. Once we arrive at Jupiter Station, we'll offer them the chance to surrender. They may show their bellies without firing a shot. If not, we'll deal with them and board the station. We will find the Emperor's prize, secure it, and return to our universe. And the great reward that awaits us there. It's about time. I could use a good fight. This in the 23rd century. Battles aren't won with karate chops and smirks. Bloodthirst built the Empire. You'd be wise to remember that. It has served you well so far, Captain. If it gets in the way on our mission, I won't hesitate to put you down. Yeah, yeah. Stop flirting with me. You'll make Camargue blush. <clears throat> Do recall that Marshal Janeway does not suffer fools. And we are on the vessel. You're not going anywhere but the grave! Enemy target I think not, traitor. Give me more shadow long enough! Enough of this! Time for you to die. Aw, look at the mess you made. The marshal's gonna get cranky. Bravo! Well fought! Three cheers! Stop! Kamarke, we're not doing that! Captain Killy. <laughs> An assassination attempt! Before breakfast? Rude. Nice to see I'm not the only one who's tried to end you, Inquisitor. Unlike that idiot, I live to tell the tale. And hey, you got that sweet voice box out of the deal. Yes, you tried. And you failed. Fortunately for you, I'm a loyal servant of the Emperor. Because he wishes it, you're still standing. Should that change, well, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, won't we? Believe me, if we get to that bridge, I'll be the one blowing it up underneath you. But for now, the Emperor says we have to play nice, so this is me, playing nice. See you at Jupiter Station. Unless your yeoman puts a shiv in your back on the way. The Defiant is ready to receive you, Inquisitor. Step onto the transporter pad when you're ready. Jupiter Station. I am Marshal Catherine Janeway of the Terran Empire. Surrender and your lives will be spared. Resistance as the saying goes, is futile. Make the smart choice. Request denied, Marshal. I'd advise you to surrender while you're still able to do so. A predictable response, Marshal. I suggest we teach them the error of their ways. My crew and I stand ready to lead the charge. I think you got a little something brown on your nose there, Inquisitor. Enough. Inquisitor, the honor is yours. Teach them a lesson they'll never forget. Those who manage to survive, anyway. Inquisitor, I have 17 cases of Romulan ale that say we're earning the most glory today. I'll make it 20 and you're on. Done. Good luck scoring even a single kill in that little bucket of failure. We'll see about that. <laughs>
It won't be a problem for all. Concentrate fire on the defense satellite. Enemy defense satellite have been eliminated. You killed a lot of good people out there. And for what? What the hell do you want? You'll find out soon enough, Commander. Surrender and prepare to be boarded. Marshal Janeway, I request a ceasefire to end up... He's stalling, buying time for reinforcements to arrive. The Empire doesn't negotiate with prey. Let's knock down their shields and take what we came here for. This insolence of yours is getting tiresome, Captain. Remember your place, or I will gut you like a fish and kick your carcass out of the nearest airlock. What is it, Inquisitor? We're reading several Starfleet vessels approaching at high warp, Marshal. They'll be here in moments. Battle stations. Fire to disable. If Starfleet is so concerned about rescue operations, let's give them something to rescue. It'll keep any more would-be reinforcements occupied. Tactical. Fire to disable. Let's keep these Starfleet weaklings alive. prize is damaged or lost, I'll kill each of you myself. Slowly. An agonizer booth at maximum setting will feel like mercy by the time I'm done with you. Do I make myself clear? There's a price for defiance, Karen Empire, and I am here to collect. Tactics concentrate fire on their habitat. Not risk the loss of the Emperor's prize. All right, they're at our mercy. It's time to do what we came to do. Let's beam down to the. St Prepare yourselves. We've got their backs to the wall, and something tells me they won't go down without a fight. As we planned, then, two teams. Team one's objective is to disrupt their security systems through sabotage. Team 2 will gain access to critical systems and take control of them. Once that's done, we can use their transporters to beam directly to where the Emperor's prize is located, and take it. Try not to get roughed up by a bunch of scientists and lab assistants. Let's get moving, Inquisitor. As you wish, Marshal. So this is kind of fun take, playing as a Terran Empire. Apologize for the laginess. We've got intruders in the storage area. Repeat, intruders in the storage area. That didn't take long. On stun, eh? Too bad ours are set to kill. Looks like this group has more fighting. So they're angry, geeks and nerds. Got it. Huh. 
one of them almost hit me. I'm impressed. Here's where we part company. Get the job done, Team Two. We won't fail you, Marshal. We won't fail you. Ugh. Let's go, Camarque. You know, when you're done kissing the Marshal's backside. Enough. Someone get these doors open. I'm on it. Got it. Ready when you are, Marshal. They're beaming in. You're trapped. Surrender now and no harm will come to you. Security fields took the long and long power. We need to keep moving. I'll reconfigure the isolinear chips here and shut down power to the fields. Charge is set. Get to a safe position. Move! sensors offline, we can move undetected. For now, we've got the security fields. Sure, if you ask me nicely. Captain, you are on dangerously thin ice here. Get that security field down now. Inquisitor, there's a Jeffrey's tube nearby. We'll use it to go between decks. All right, all right, it's down. Go! Watch out! the Jeffrey's tube. Let's get climbing. Why'd they cancel that alert when there's still Terrans on board? That's a mystery you'll never solve, I'm afraid. This is the transporter room. Take the lead. Breach and clear. What? They're here! Open fire! Right. Beam us directly to the medical ward. Energizing. What's the holdup? We need to get out of here before Starfleet overruns our position. Starfleet's adapted their security protocols. We are locked out of the transporter controls. Time to go to plan B. 
Meet us at the hub on deck seven. Jane way out. Get to the hub as fast as you can. Things go sideways? Of course, Marshal. Commander, we've got more contacts incoming! Damn, we're in a tight spot. Let's fight our way to the others and regroup. Marshal? Inquisitor, how nice of you to join us. What took you so long? Did you stop to replicate some coffee on the way? Fighting now. Coffee later. For now, Marshal. Time to change things up a bit. Inquisitor, you and Tilly will get us access to the turbo lifts. Kumarke and I will focus on disabling the security lockouts. Once that's done, we should be able to get to the medical ward using turbo lifts. We'll rendezvous there. Interesting that the Marshal pulled that little team switch. What do you think she's up to? Maybe she's hoping we kill each other so she won't have to. This is Janeway. What's your status? About to take turbo lift control. Stand by. Ready phasers. They're here. Let's get this party started, nerds! Gotta love the treachery of all Watch Terrans. fire! We need functional controls once we clear the room. Less talking, more shooting! Victory at last. Inquisitor to Marshal Janeway. We've secured turbo lift control. Your orders. Hold your position, Inquisitor. Captain Kumarke tells me she needs about 15 seconds to finish cracking their security overrides. So, did Grandma Janeway ask you to kill me? I mean, I I'd be insulted if you did. Janeway here. We've done our part. Ball's in your court now, Inquisitor. Yeah, we'll get right on that, Marshal. There's a countermeasure blocking me here. You need to reroute through that console. Reroute complete. Starting on the second lockout. Cover me!
need you on that console, Inquisitor. Try it now. Almost there. Just a few more seconds. Got it. Turbo lift control is restored. Nice work. We have turbo lift access here. Proceed with the plan. Kumarke and I will meet you at the objective. You think Janeway will convince Kumarke to betray me? That seems unlikely. Your pet is very loyal. sure the job gets done. So, what's so important about the Emperor's prize, anyway? Ask the Emperor. I'm sure he'd love explaining himself to you. Wow. Skip with your day, Doctor. Come on. The joke will be on us if we don't stay focused. Although I will say playing my mirror self is a little bit more difficult, I don't have nearly the options I normally would have. Beginning decontamination suite. Transport. Ooh, this guy was getting on my last nerve. Threat neutralized. The prize is ours for the taking, Marshal. Indeed. Inquisitor, if you would do the honors and open the door. Expected someone more impressive. Let's get this over with. Yeah, let's do that. To be honest, I didn't think you'd make it this far, but I'm happy to finish you off now. You've had the Emperor's favor long enough. It's our time for glory now. Really? Well then. If you want to kill the Queen, you need to deal with her pawns. Hmm. Queen Janeway. You're not as loyal as you led me to believe. Afraid not, Marshal. Nothing personal. 
Jelly made the better deal. And it was for a lot more than Romulan ale. Perhaps we should gloat after the battle is won. What the? She's got some sort of invulnerability shield. She's at that. Her shield is down. Now's our chance. Open fire. She's adapted. Eliminate four drones to make her vulnerable. Her shield is down. Now's our chance. Open fire! She's adapted. Eliminate four. Her shield is down. Now's our chance. Mark my words, traitors. You will burn. I'll give the old girl credit. Making a Borg army out of the Starfleet goons we dropped along the way was a solid move. If she is, they'll be Starfleet's problem, not ours. If the Marshal survives, she'll be stuck here. Shouldn't be too bad. I hear Federation prisons are soft and comfy. Yeah, that's her problem, not ours. Get the transporter beacon on the Emperor's prize so we can beam her out of here. The Emperor's prize is ours. Let's beam up and get back to our universe. The rest, as they say, is history. Let's discuss how we resolve this fine little mess. Preferably over some coffee. I think that could be arranged. So now we know who the Terrans were after. What we still don't know is why. Perhaps you can shed some light on that, Marshal. That information is above even my pay grade, Admiral. Only the Emperor knows, and he isn't one to share such secrets willingly. I suspect you know more about the Emperor's prize than I do. What's so special about that woman? We know she's one of ours. Lieutenant Ilea. A Delta navigator assigned to the Enterprise in the late 23rd century. Until recently, she was listed as missing in action, after an incident involving a powerful entity in deep space. Recently, she teleported into a Starfleet research station in the Epsilon sector, and promptly collapsed. She's been comatose ever since. She was transferred to Jupiter Station for medical care due to her... unique physiology. Uh, might being a bit more specific? Baldness isn't exactly a unique biological trait, especially for Deltans. According to the researchers on Jupiter Station, Ilea is a hybrid, a fusion of biological and artificial life. Very advanced artificial life. The research team could barely comprehend the nature of her artificial components. One of them told me it made a soon type android look crude by comparison. Well, I don't know how a bald cyborg factors into making the Emperor's ultimate weapon, but he does tend to have plans within plans. Maybe he wants this Ilea to serve as a prototype for some new type of super soldier. I don't care what he wants. It's our job to stop him and bring Ilea back. So, we need a plan, and we need it fast. In case you guys are wondering, Lieutenant Ilea is actually from Star Trek The Motion Picture. By now, Tilly and her cohorts will have returned the Emperor's prize to Terran Space Dock in our universe. You'll want to move fast and be ready for the fight of your life if you want to bring her back. Let me be clear. This is an enemy of my enemy situation. I mean to get revenge on Tilly and her lackeys. And working with you will help me accomplish that goal. I see no reason to complicate matters. Do you? Then it sounds like we have an understanding. Now let's get to it. <laughs> well, well. 
It looks like my recent work with Starfleet on training scenarios has paid off. Never thought you'd have the guts to try anything like that, but <laughs> what can I say? You're just full of surprises. <laughs> Are you kidding? This is my kind of crazy. I would miss it for the world. And if my help isn't enough, you have two Janeways working on this. <laughs> I can't wait to see what those crazy old birds come up with. <laughs> Especially after a few pots of coffee. We took some serious hits here today, but they've had their inning. Now it's our turn at bat. Starfleet will put their best and brightest to work on the rescue operation. I've been assured that our allies in the Alliance will do the same. Working together, we survive the Iconian War. We can deal with this Terran incursion as well. One thing's for certain. Starfleet needs to improve the defenses here at Jupiter Station. I have a few ideas on that. But for now, Ilea is our top priority. Captain's Log, Supplemental. We have the Emperor's prize at last. With Janeway out of the picture, the glory is ours alone. We will learn the secrets of the Emperor's prize. By any means necessary. Kumarke to bridge. We're ready to begin. The Terrans continue to perplex me. They went to a lot of trouble to kidnap Ilea, despite the incredible risk. It just doesn't add up. Something tells me that the Terran Emperor's plans involve a lot more than kidnapping. Alright everyone, this concludes the episode during the Terran Gambit story arc of Red Shift. And I'll catch you all in the next one.